Hey everyone, are you ready to test your absolute maximum logical limit? This is the definitive challenge. Einstein's riddle. Legend claims only 2% of the global population can solve this complex logic puzzle. Forget math, this is about pure, systematic deduction. The challenge is simple. Who owns the fish? The premise is that five houses stand in a row, each with a unique combination of five different traits. Your mission is to fill in the missing information using a set of clues and answer that ultimate question. Here is your full data set. We recommend pausing the video now to try solving it yourself. Get a pen and paper, draw a 5x5 five five grid, and work through it row by row. Here are the 15 clues. There are five houses, each a different color. The Brit lives in the red house, the Swede keeps dogs as pets, the Dane drinks tea, the greenhouse is immediately to the left of the white house, the owner of the greenhouse drinks coffee, the person who smokes poor mole keeps birds, the owner of the yellow house smokes Dunhill, the man living in the center house drinks milk, the Norwegian lives in the first house, the man who smokes, blends lives next to the man who keeps cats, the man who keeps horses lives next to the man who smokes Dunhill, the owner who smokes Blue Masters drinks beer, the German smokes Prince, and finally, the Norwegian lives next to the Blue House. Welcome back. If you managed to solve this, congratulations you truly possess exceptional logic skills. If you're stuck, let's look at how the process of elimination and fixed point placement leads to the final answer. The key to unlocking this grid lies in finding the fixed points, the clues that give you a definite position. First let's fix our foundation. Clue 10 tells us the Norwegian is in the first house. Clue 9 tells us the person who drinks milk is in the center house, which is house number 3. These are our anchors. Next, we locate the key colors. Clue 15 says the Norwegian in house 1 lives next to the blue house, so house number 2 must be blue. Now, clues 5 and 6 are linked. The greenhouse, where the owner drinks coffee, is immediately to the left of the white house. The only open slots that fit this pattern are house for being green and house 5 being white, with 4 colors placed. The only remaining house, number 1, must be the last color, which is yellow. Clue 8 confirms this. The owner of the yellow house, house 1, smokes Dunhill. Now we can find the Brit and the horse. Clue 2 tells us the Brit lives in the red house. The only house in color left for this is house number 3, which must be red. And since the Brit in house 3 drinks milk, that's another piece filled in. Clue 12 states the person who keeps horses lives next to the one who smokes Dunhill, who we know is in house 1. Therefore, the person in house 2 must keep horses. With these key pieces in place, the final deductions become much clearer. We can now use the remaining clues to fill in the grid. We know the Dane drinks tea, and the Swede keeps dogs. After placing all the information, you'll find that the only person with an open pet slot is the German, who lives in house number 4 and smokes Prince. So, the final answer is, the owner of the fish is the German, who lives in the greenhouse and drinks coffee. The beauty of Einstein's riddle is its elegance. It requires no guesswork, only the discipline to follow the logic exactly where it leads. Now you know the secret welcome to the elite 2%. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more brain -busting.